Hey everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to do some ambient switching using 2D ambience events in FMOD and trigger boxes in Unreal. Let's get started. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at our project here. You can see that we're working in the third person template in Unreal and I've just set up a very simple map here with um, this wide open flooring that is supposed to symbolize exterior and then I've set up something of a cave here that is symbolizing our interior ambience. So the goal here is to start with an exterior ambience and then have that ambience switch as soon as we enter the cave and we're going to do that switching using trigger boxes. So let's get started in our FMOD project by hitting Control 3 to bring up the audio bin. And we are going to drag in our ambient switching assets straight into the audio bin. There's just a cave wind and a forest wind. And let's get our events set up. Under events, I'm going to right click, create a new 2D event, and I'm going to call this exterior. And right click, create a new 2D event, and call this interior. We're going to right click on both of these and make sure that they are assigned to the master bank. And in my exterior, I'm going to drag in my forest wind right click on the region, select new loop region, and then for my interior event I'm going to drag in my cave wind and do the same thing. Create a new loop region. And there you can hear my cave wind and for my exterior you could hear my forest wind. Excellent, so that's all that we need to do in FMOD 4 now. Control S to save, hit F7 to build so that our events show up in Unreal. Let's go ahead and up, open up our Unreal project and open up our level blueprint. Now our player begins in the exterior part of the map. So we want our exterior event to play uh, right when the player starts the level. So let's go ahead and drag off the event begin play node and create, create a play, play event 2D. And then in the drop down, let's select our exterior event. So right when the player hits play, they're going to start in the exterior of the level and the exterior event is going to play. Compile it, save it, let's hit play. And there we go, we can hear that that is working perfectly. Now we need to set up the method whereby uh, when the player enters the cave, the ambience will switch. So what we're going to need is a trigger box. So over here in the nodes, or the modes, sorry, I'm going to go ahead and search for trig. And we're going to get a trigger volume, drag it in here inside of our cave. And then we're going to scale it to match the uh, dimensions of the cave. So I'm going to hit R and scale the x-axis w r scale the y and then finally let's go ahead and scale the the z okay it's a little bit too short we're just going to bring it out to the edge of the cave there we go now uh, our trigger volume is over here in the world outliner. We're going to rename this interior and then right click add event on actor begin overlap. So when the player overlaps with that volume, we want to stop the exterior event and start the interior event. So the first thing we're going to do is create a stop event or event instance stop and it's looking for what fmod event instance that we want to stop and so we're going to take this fmod event instance that is our exterior wind here from the return value pin and feed that into 
the event instance stop node. Then we want to create another play event 2D so that we can start our interior ambience event, right? So in the drop down, select our interior ambience event. So we overlap with our trigger box, we stop exterior event, and then we play the interior event. Let's test that. So there's our exterior event. We overlap with the box, and then we start our uh, interior event. Now when we walk out of the cave, when we walk out of the cave, you'll notice that it does not switch back to the exterior, and that's because we haven't scripted any behavior to tell it to do so. Um, and then also clearly there is a very hard cut uh, when we're switching ambiences, which we are going to uh, fix later on. But for now, what we need to do is have the behavior working that when we walk out of the cave, we stop the interior event and play the exterior event. So let's go back into the editor and grab our interior trigger box volume, right click, add event, and then on actor end overlap, right here. And we're going to copy this event instance stop, and it's asking us what instance we want to stop. And just like we dragged the return value from our exterior into the event instance stop node, we're going to drag the event instance from our interior into the event instance stop for the end overlap event. Then we want to play event uh, the exterior event, right? So all we have to do is rather than create a new play event node, we can drag off the execution pin and go ahead and feed that right back into our original play event 2D. Let's compile, save, and let's test that behavior. Exterior event plays, switches to interior when we walk into the cave, and switches back to exterior when we walk out. Great, now we need to handle that uh, hard fading situation that we have going on right now. We can't do that here, at least not easily in Unreal, so we need to set up that behavior in fmod. And this is very simple. All we do is on our both of our events, we're going to click on the master track and down here in the deck on the volume right click, select add modulation and ahdsr that immediately brings in a uh, attack and release behavior that's going to create a fade in and fade out automatically for us. So hitting the play button up here on the play controls is the same as calling the play event 2D or any play event um, in Unreal Blueprint. So we hit play and we're gonna hear that one second attack fade in. Then we hit stop and we'll hear it fade out over a second. Hitting the stop button on the play controls is just like calling the event instance stop node in Unreal Blueprint. Now let's do the same thing for our interior event. Click on the master, right click on the volume knob, add modulation, AHDSR, and you'll hear the same fade in and fade out behavior. Great, let's save it, F7 to build, and then let's go back into Unreal and hit play. Now let's test this out. There we heard the fade in on our exterior. Now we have some nice fade ins going. They're not quite perfect. Um, the rest of this is just gonna take some tweaking in F mod. So for example, what I might do is set my attack to something a bit shorter, like half a, half a, uh, a second. And set my release to something longer, like two seconds and do that for both of these uh, exterior and interior events here. here we go, and then set the release to two seconds. That might give us something a little bit more smooth. F7 to build, and then let's go back into Unreal and try this out.
All right, there you have it. That's how you can do some very simple ambient switching using um, FMOD and trigger boxes in Unreal. Thanks for watching.